Okay, welcome back to Rat Simulator. I am happy to announce that my save is still working. Uh, we're no longer on the stable branch. Uh, unstable branch, I mean. We're on the stable branch now. So, um, I was a little worried about that after I had finally gotten everything uh, <laughs> restarted up. To have it all of a sudden all be gone, I was a little worried. But... We're here. Oh, I parked up against a sign, and I. Oh no. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> oh wow. My uh. I don't know if my mouse is uh. Very sensitive, isn't it? <laughs> I don't remember it being that sensitive. Oh, here we got minutes per night, 10 minutes per day, 60. Input mouse, mouse sensitivity. Let's try that. That's a little better. It's not quite going flipping all over the place. Is there, I wonder if there's like a strapping system? I better make sure my, my mic is on. Or I would not be talking to anybody. Oh, it's on. Okay. Which, uh, you all knew that already. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I wasn't recording, not recording. Now, is there a way to, like, strap this to... Flip release. Our, nope, I don't want to flip that. I don't know how we're going to do this without the cart just flying right off again. Yeah, that seems to be an issue. <laughs> That's a little bit of a problem, I think. Should be able to haul the golf cart on the ch car carrier. <laughs> oh, jeez. As long as it stays on there. So, car carrier truck, not really a car carrier. <laughs> it's not a good one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Guess if I get caught on the, <laughs> on the fence, it doesn't help. Yeah, and it comes sliding right back to me. Oh, that's great. How am I supposed to get it off of there now? It's, hopefully I can drive it. Maybe I can just drive it right off. Oh, okay. Right into a tree. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing I want to get is that gas trailer too. It's always nice to have that sitting here. Oh good. It's tw 20 hundred hours so I can sleep. Sleep the night. <laughs> Sleeping out under the stars. In the rain. So now this is supposed to be the stable branch. Why are there still issues like that? They shouldn't have released if it was going to have, you know, like those kind of problems still. Hopefully they're continuing to work on it. Okay, um, 
this. I'm going to take the trailer with the saw with me, even though this saw is not really a great one, because it's so slow. I should probably buy better saws, because I'm going to need a ton of wood. That, this sucker takes forever. I like the idea of doing like a dairy farm. or something like that or 750 I think it might be 750 for the for the good saw I'm gonna get rid of this tent I don't really need it there okay now we can sell the chickens let's grab the cart and we'll use that to haul the chickens either we could sell all this stuff too yeah we'll leave it for right now this we can get rid of that'll get us some more wood okay let's head to the head over towards the um, general store. Oh, I want to check on oil spots. There's supposed to be a few of them over this way. Potential area is. That would be so nice. Nope, not there. That's one potential spot. And then there's supposed to be another one over this way somewhere. I think it's supposed to be right in here somewhere. We go check our other old spot too, where we had it last time, see if it's still in the same spot. spot than it was. It was over here. It'd be kind of neat if they had two of them right next to each other. Yeah, the last time it was right there. So it's pretty close to where the other one was. Right next to the bear. Fish 
tail's real easy. If we could just sell them at the, we could just sell them at the food, the burger place. I have to drive all the way to the, drive all the way over to that hardware store. You're just driving around in this game. Basically, I'm a demolition air dairy car <laughs> running into everything. The steers like crap. <laughs> into everything. Uh. Do you want some live chickens to sell? Three eggs. Not gonna let me sell the chickens? Ah, uh, don't you want some raw chickens? Shoot. I could probably just sell them at the hardware store too, maybe. Yeah, I guess we're going to the general store. Oh, wait a minute. Not that way. Yeah, general store is a completely different direction. Driving simulator. <laughs> oh, is there a oil? I thought there was an oil spot around here too. That might be where it used to, where it could be. So it looks like the one that we're gonna get is the one over by that farm again, kind of in the same general area that it was last time. stuff so what are we got from now for money 400 let's see what is there anything that we need while we're here could get a frame and a smoker just in case if I come across any bees we'll get two frames just in case want to have them there just in case we do come across some uh, we're not gonna buy any animals yet because we want to do all the construction first. The only problem is, is I need to get, I need to have something to sell to be making money while I'm building, because I'm gonna need building supplies. sell some some of the wood too oh good I forgot to check if my <laughs> I could have just sold my gas can and not even realize it Let's see we're supposed to 
supposed to be able to stack this. There's supposed to be a sweet spot. Oh, oh, right there. There we go. Good. Okay. Go set that. Um, go set up the oil, oil rig. I wish I knew where some more spots were, potential spots at least. I wish there was some closer to home. Is there any by the ranch? I wonder. We'll drive around here for a little bit and just see if we can find any other spot. It would be nice if there was one like right here. Right on our ranch. Because it would be a good idea to get the oil going. Because that would be our little bit of an income before we start construction on anything. I think we have any potential spots in in our grounds. Should we take our should probably take our truck. Oh, there's something on the ground there. Is that eggs? Oh, there is. Yeah, they were laying eggs randomly around the yard. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's uh we throw all this stuff on the trailer. Or here. We'll put it up on the on the rack here. Possibly. Possibly not. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, what do you guys think? Oil, a good idea to get kind of going qu soon. I really hate it when it does that. Because now where is that frame at? There. Okay. This time we're not going to mess around with the the lawnmower and you know all that stuff that's what was nice kind of nice about having the first start was we it kind of got you know to know some stuff about the game and with all your guys' help come on stack oh. it's like you gotta like uh, right we click it right at the right time because it doesn't want to seem to want to stay green Come on. Sorry about this. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to put the cart in the garage. I'm going to bring this can with, too, because uh, it's got some gas in it. We're going to be needing all the gas we can get. We're going to be cutting cutting wood. We're going to do a little wood cutting first before we head over to where the oil place is at. Because we're going to need... I think we need oil. Here, let, let's take a look at our build menu. I want to see the how much does the oil... Oil cost. So we need oh cement and metal. Okay, so we need twenty cement, twenty metal. So we're gonna actually we're gonna go to the hardware store. Hopefully we'll have enough money for that. Oh my goodness, I keep hitting the wrong button. That that's one of my suggestions. I wish they would do is just a hot bar. Not this hit tab and have to do this kind of thing. I wanna have a you know, put the hammer on number one, the gun on number two crowbar and three you know that kind of setup would be a whole lot 
more streamlined. Even though we are now not on the unstable branch anymore. Hopefully that's all stuff they could still work on. Okay, so we gotta go buy some 20 metal and 20 cement. And then we'll go set up the oil duct. If we have enough money, hopefully we will to get an oil drum. Oh jeez. Should I hunt some deer? <laughs> get ourselves some meat to sell. Give us a little more money. I thought there was two up there. There's, there's a buck and a doe. Don't want to miss. I don't have a cooler. Yeah, and see that where you can't active do anything without having the gun out of your hand? I should be able to hit the one key or two key or whatever to get off of the gun so I could just drive right over there. What I might have to do too is um, sell the planks to buy the cement and everything and the because we need at least one oil drum so we have uh, means to transport some we won't be able to get the whole 20 of them that we need right off the bat that meat's going to be a lot higher priced at the burger place so we're going to hit that first to the stable. <laughs> yeah, I'll get us some money. Five bucks. Yeah, we only have fourteen and four hundred nineteen dollars. I don't know. Am I gonna have enough money for what I need? A lot of driving in this episode. Sorry about that. I'm gonna have to sell these boards. <laughs> Sideways truck. Okay, let's sell the boards. So once we get the oil rig going, we sh we'll have some cash coming in. So we need 20 and 20. So, uh, oh no, so 1, 2, 20, and then I'm, oh yeah, 750 bucks for the good saw. We're going to sell the planks. Woohoo, $24. <laughs> Not big. Okay, so 10, 20 of those, and then we need 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, good. We do have enough. Uh, and then a drum. 
We need an oil drum. 250 bucks. We are not going to have enough. Dang it. Okay, do I have anything else I could sell? Because the oiled can's not going to get it. I wish they had a bank in the game. It would be kind of nice. We'll have to wait on the oil drum then. Because I want to get the, the oil dart, you know, the Derek built first. And then we'll have to come up with the money for the oil drum. We'll get it up and processing. Should be able to carry more than one of these little bags of cement. I'd say the 50 pound, yeah, would carry only one, but with the the five five pound ones, you should be able to just you should be able to carry at least three of them at once. Two at the like the minimum. Okay, now basically we're gonna be working oil about the, almost the same spot as we were in the last uh, series. So at least we know how to get there. Not like we haven't driven it a hundred times. Keep forgetting to keep my eyes out for bees too. Might be a hive over close to where the oil duct is, because we have found one over there before. Oh boy, bears over here. Oh yeah, and he's pretty much a regular over here too. Maybe we could just hit him with the car. <laughs> um, yeah, dear. Let's not flip my truck. Oh, come on. dead. <laughs> He's kind of moving. Am I the only one that thinks like a task bar would be a whole lot, or a tool kit bar would be a whole lot nicer than having this set up? Or am I the only one that doesn't like that at all? Or am I making a mountain out of a molehill? as they would say. I should have bought a cooler, but hey, I don't have the money right now. Does meat rot? Okay, let's get this oil duct built. driving over there. I'm gonna run back and forth when all I have to do is grab them and throw them in. Just like this. Nice. Okay. Now let's get the gas in there, get it turned on. Yeah, we're not going to be completely full. Because I think 
Well, maybe. Pretty, pretty darn close. Guess I could use my other can too. Let's check how much gas we've got in our truck, though. We'll top that off before we get, before we use it for the oil rig. Get that topped off. Yeah, not too much needed. Gotta fill this so we can make the money. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for watching. I, my last, uh, the part one had almost 300 views or something like that, I think. It's awesome. Okay, no, well, we got that up and going. We gotta maybe do some hunting or something, just get as much meat as we can try to make some of that money. This is the area where the beehive was at. Oh, another bear, too. I don't really want to hunt the bears, though, because that's just, that takes a lot of bullets. I'm looking for, for bees. I had to turn my... Oh, oh, oh. I hear some. There they are. Nice. We found one. Be careful though, there's a bear close by. I like that they put them lower so that the smoke can get to them. Even though it still looks like a hornet nest for supposed to be honeybees. Beehive. How much? Uh, how much were beehives again? Beehive. Uh, Fifteen planks, two metal. Uh, so I'm gonna need. I need to get the. Go buy some metal. Don't really have much money, but I can sell that meat. So we can get the two metal, and we'll cut our own. Planks. How am I going to get over it if I shoot that deer in there? Well, it's not going to let me jump that fence, is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the driving mechanics in this game. <laughs> oh, there's an animal right there. Bear must say, killed it. Oh, I should have just driven down there. <laughs> does she have for us? I know I did the clean up the yard task for her already. Oh, is he coming out this way? Oh, he is. Good. Oh, don't go back in there. Maybe it'll come back out. Is he on like a fixed route or is it just, yeah, it's just kind of sporadic okay let's just drive down there Oh, well, 
I jump the fence. No, I don't want to be over the fence. <laughs> Yeah, I really should have a cooler. Well, this should get us a little money, at least, off from the burger place. Getting uh, getting the ranch up and running. It's the only thing I do like about needing to start over is you know, kind of learning from your first mistakes. Oh, that bear attacked the deer. If the bear kills the deer, I can get the deer. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Is a dead end here? Just drive on the sidewalk. <laughs> yep, bear's killing the deer, I think. It sounds like it. You can do it back here for me. sound effect that is because it doesn't sound like a deer like kind of horn <laughs> you, sometimes you wonder where they get these sound bites for some of the sound animations and stuff it's like okay could you find something <laughs> oh wait a minute Okay, we need 250 for an oil drum. So we are pretty darn close. I wonder. Should I, I'm gonna kill that bear. Cause that'll get me some more, cause I, I wanna get the two metal, at least two metal. I want him to get closer so I can just grab the meat and put it on the... Just like that. Oh, it's like a pro. <laughs> Perfect. Not too often does stuff happen to work out quite that well. All you gotta do is move it right over onto the pad and I'll go sell it. All it cost me was four bullets. And that might be enough to get me the oil drum and the metal that I need. Possibly. Oh no, wait a minute. I need a hundred for the for the metal, don't I? There's a hundred dollars for for fifty or for five, I mean. Yeah, we will soon find out. I can never remember the prices for some reason. Apologize for my voice if it's getting, because I still have a sore throat. And I've kind of been—it's not as bad as it was, but still not feeling very good. But I want to keep getting the videos out. I'm so close to that 4,000 hours. I want to make sure you guys have stuff to watch. I need this to be some I need this to be a money maker for me. The amount of money I've invested in the channel over the years has been very, very high. <laughs>
but then I need the oil drum. Do I just get the oil drum now and then get the metal later? Once I sell some honey or some Yeah, see I'm only I'm only a little bit short. That's Man, um maybe if I sell one of my oil my gas cans right now I can I can always get it buy it back for 25 bucks see if that gets me enough money to get the metal and can't sell the gas can huh so I guess we can't sell gas cans huh I can't sell the saw because I, I need to make the planks. I could sell one frame if it'll let me sell that. Because I'm not going to have an extractor yet either. That still wouldn't be enough money. Because I'm going to have to get the extractor too. So we're just, we're not going to, not going to get the metal right now. We're going to invest in the the oil drum and the cash from the oil will get us all this other stuff that we need okay now we can now we have an oil drum to collect some of that oil once it's processed we can go start on a hive we can at least get the the wood part of it in and kind of get it positioned where we want it. I kind of like where I had them set up last playthrough. If you didn't kind of check that playthrough out, you can go check that out too. Um, that was earlier in the, the unstable branch. But most of you that are watching are probably continued um, followers of the channel and subscribers and appreciate that very much you're highly appreciated all of your words of advice have come in real handy too see I could put it back over next to the farm area there oh you're gonna run out in front of me aren't you yeah yeah I knew it I'm gonna try knock my trailer off ah I'm going to put the bees closer than they were. I can put them next to the garage and I can have the extractor set up in the garage. So if we put the beehives, we can put them along over here or on the other side. I want them facing south. So that would be the best over there. Because in the real world, I, would, I always set my hives to the south, southeast. So I put them right here. I know I'm not going to be able to get all these start it up right away but not like we're spending anything to set the set them where we want them and then the extractor we're gonna put that inside the garage let's put it right here because then we can always go right out this door Grab the honey, bring it right in for the extractor. Okay, um, now, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do anything with the bees until we have some, let's, uh, let's get some wood. We're gonna start with these trees here. 
Oh, do I have enough gas to to run these saws? There's it's in there. Onion. Can chop a tree with one swing. It's so much nicer than in mist, though, where you takes forever to chop a tree. That's with mist. I I loved having the chainsaw. Thought the chainsaw was like kind of horrible. <laughs> Just gonna get all these stacked up right here that way we can just turn the saw on and just sit and just move them back and forth instead of running all over the place while they're cutting I can sell some of this wood too to get the metal that I need which might be the option because I'm going to clear cut pretty much this whole area Last playthrough, I didn't really mess around with any of the, like, farming, farming, farming. I did do the greenhouse, which you'd know. Um, but it would be kind of neat to get money together and do some crops and stuff like that, too. Or I'll just get back into FS22 <laughs> and farm that way, because that's more realistic looking. I am really tempted to play that again. I did do quite a few episodes of that it they never did very good except for like my how-to video that one's got a ton of views and it's getting views all the time which is really nice I like those those videos that are consistently bringing in views Okay, it's I'm gonna get all this stuff oop. In those uh log holders we'll hold logs and planks, so I could could always do that too just a setup just to store some of this stuff. Got to kind of watch how much it, how much they gave me for those planks. I could sell them just to straight wood and save the money on them. If they, I think, do they buy regular logs? Never really thought of that. If I just did the logs instead of, you know, cutting them, I'm gonna probably get a quarter of what that, what I would for cutting them. At least that would be understandable. later today or fall back right time's falling back I think what time is it right now look at my phone so it's 720 in the morning right now which it's actually 820 so we gained an hour so that's kind of nice yeah see I I need to get the money for a better saw if I would be cutting a lot of wood. I, I'd want to get two of the $750 saws. Okay, I'll cut all this up and then I'll be back with you. Okay, this is our last, last of the log pile. 
get this shut off. Still got a little bit of gas left in it. Got ourselves quite a few planks here. Be enough to build our beehive so we can get that, the bees in it and start producing honey. Even though we won't have the money for the extractor parts quite yet. But I want to get, um, I gotta get the metal still. Uh, we'll get the wood into the beehives. We gotta get over to the hardware store and sell some of this wood. Oh, 20 hundred hours. We could, uh, we could sleep through the dark. And quite a few boards out of that. Okay, well, we wanted to pick that up anyways. It's all the boards off the ground, yep. Okay, let's uh, grab our air mattress and just sleep. for the extractor because we need a, a jar too for the honey metal and cement okay there's the I'm not going to put any of the other ones yet because I need to buy 20 metal and 20 cement jar. I need to get gas too. For those cans. Okay, let's head to the hardware store. oil there is now in the in our oil dark derrick because we did sleep the night Driving sideways again. I was going to be able to buy all that stuff with what I, oh wait a minute, oh no, okay, okay. but still, that's still not that much, a hundred bucks, I can't even buy the metal that I need, like for, for the extractor and the 
eighteen dollars for a honeypot, which I don't need yet because I can't I can't afford to build the <laughs> Well, I can at least get the the hive up and running. You have the place the bees a place to call home. <laughs> Nickel and dime, nickel and dime. <laughs> Let's run up and check our, see if we have enough oil in the duct to sell it. Fill one drum at least. not back. sell what I got though. At least get something. At least so I could get some maybe get some more gas or something or it's not gonna be enough I don't think to get the metal and cement that I need for the extractor. There was beads up over that way. Oh, up this way. Let's see if there's a hive around here. There's a hive. Well, at least we'll have two. Goodness, it's like twisted. That's pretty high up in the tree. Am I gonna be able to reach it? I thought they fixed that. stack them even if they've got bees on them. Yes. It's going to be another one of those sessions of trying to get it to turn green. There we go. driving this way just uh, just in case it's kind of a flatter area keep our eyes out maybe there's a second hive around here like right there I don't have enough frames there's another hive right on that tree and over on that tree okay we gotta go buy two frames so there's another one right there see it straight ahead from me. Okay, we're gonna go to the hardware store and get two more frames. Hopefully we'll have the money for it. 
sell that that oil. That's a good spot to check. for the honey too once you sell it. I was making pretty good money on my honey when I the, when I the last time I produced any. Three hundred and fifty. Oh wait a minute, I need frames. Hopefully we can we can buy them here. There they are. Need two more frames. And I want, what was it that I needed? I need 20 cement and 20 metal for the extractor. So that's, that's a lot of money. Um, so if I, I have to do four bags of cement and of those and then I want to get a honey jar okay I've got enough okay good so our honey operation is up gonna be up and running I'm just gonna set these back here because we're going right over to get those two hives And I'll have enough to build another hive too, I'll just have to get some more logs. trying to get that stack. Now, there's another hive 
right there. where I can pull the truck carrier top thing right next to it see if that works Thank <laughs> you. 
to see if I can get it to catch on any of the surface here. And I can't chop any of these trees down. forward anymore. If I could drive through that tree and get the carrier right at the top. I guess we're going to have to leave that one. Well, that that's not cool. Finally, a bunch of hives, and I can't get it. Just kind of scanning this area. One of the patch fixes was to, to lower the beehives. Obviously, that one got missed. <laughs> Anybody else still having problems with the beehives being too high in the tree? And I would have thought putting the oil drum under it to get the smoke higher to it would have worked. Because the last time it worked where I backed the truck up to it and got the smoke close. And the drum wasn't really any lower than the than what the oil drum was. So I'll have to d maybe try detaching my trailer and just doing the backing up to it again. Try that. Sorry, I'm not talking as much. My throat is throat's kind of sore. <laughs> okay, we got the extractor. Let's get this uh, 
then we need to have the smoker close by here so we can pick up the frames in the first place. set this back here right now turn that off Let's set the honey jar in by the extractor no wait a minute where I thought the entrance was over on this side where's the entrance at Okay, well, I think that's where we're going to live off for this episode. It, a nice long one. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.